Tommy Lawton. He's come a long way since his under-12 days as a halfback. And number four there, Steve Cutler, Australia's most capped second row. And the Lions mascot poised beautifully on the halfway line. Lovely position for the action. French referee René Urquet is again in charge while his countrymen and women recover from Bastille Day. He'll control a different battle. But the liberty, equality and fraternity of the 30 players will most assuredly be dictated by his whistle. The third might attend test match is underway here at the football stadium and a crunch of players and Calder has the ball early on for the Lions. Australia has worked hard on those kickoffs. But the Lions have come away, the referee says it was out, and the Australians drive in low. The early psychological battle goes against the Lions, the referee has penalised. And that really is a very good blow for the Australians. A very good body height by the Australian pack there, they were getting pushed back and as it came to one side, they got down low and drove ahead and caught the Lions offside. Michael Liner doesn't find touch. Jones is going to run it back and hoist. His kick is not a very good one though. Coming down near the 10 metre line. Lost ahead by Richards and there's also offside play says the referee. Paul Ackford the one in front of Richards. It came off both sets of hands. Australia then the Lions. Watch it in the air. It's a poor kick by Jones. He could have used his 22 metre area. There it comes down off uh, Cutler, then off uh, Richards, and then Ackford, who's in front, is offside. So there's the distance for Michael Liner. It's about 45 metres. He's also 20 off centre. And we've had just one and a half minutes of play. Virtually only the kickoff, and then the ensuing penalty kick. And Liner with a chance to post first points. He kicked three out of six last week, but was quite happy with his kicking because he struck the ball well, including one that hit the post. Two minutes gone on the clock. Michael Liner for Australia. Missing on the left. So a let-off there for the Lions. The good and the feature that does disturb me is that again from the kickoff, Australia was soft. We saw it in the uh, the kickoff to the game. The Lions retrieved rather easily. This is a critical point. They must receive here. Well, a very good dropout by Rob Andrew. The Australians get their body height down. Far Jones goes in for the tackle. So two kickoffs. And the Lions gaining possession, although they did concede a penalty with the opening one. Full marks to Rob Andrew because he's putting that ball so beautifully for his forwards to get underneath and take the initiative. The Australians have had opposed scrumming during the week from local club players in Sydney. Jones wants it. And so too Andrew. And that's a very good settler for the Lions. They have survived the first four minutes of play and no score on the board. Super first scrum for the Lions. Locked down tight. Not one inch of movement. Australia not given the opportunity to uh, put on that uh, inspiring shove. Locked down tight. Cleared beautifully. Loose ball here for Jones. Here's the ball for Australia. Liner, cut out to Walker. Australia looking for this second phase possession. An area that let them down last week. Some superb blocking in there by the Australian props. They got through, directed the ball as it came down from the, from the Lions tap, over the top of the ball and very quick ball wide for the Australian backs. That's the formula, move the ball away from the forwards, the Lions forwards. Nick Farr-Jones just got his kick in. This is Gavin Hastings. And a towering reply, not finding touch. The Australians clear it, but Martin's in trouble. The Lions up very quickly. 
Fullback Gavin Hastings is down after that confrontation. Andrew. Campisi races back. Campisi into touch. Campisi trying to keep the ball in play. But the touch judge on this side, David Bishop, says that he put a foot into touch whilst in possession. Dreadful place to try and keep the ball in touch. David Campisi with his back to the, uh, the Lions coming forward. But that time they read Australia's play. The kick down feel and they came forward in the centre anticipating the counter attack wide from Australia. And they really snuffed it out. Gavin Hastings uh, receiving a blow early on. He's just had treatment from the trainer. And Brian Moore doing plenty of talking here. He's sporting a bloodied nose. His first taste of international football was for the English students against Fiji in 1982. Lions here will be looking for a deflected ball down to, some, to the superb sweeping. Axford at the front. Richards doesn't control. This is Teague. Scrum feed for Australia. The two packs shunt together. Well, only minutes apart, we have seen the, fir the first two scrums of the game. This one now, Australia's chance to show that they can retain their feet. And again, the two halfbacks are in it, but no one really joining in this time from the Lions' side, to their credit. Finlay Calder holding his players back. Jones and Far Jones. No love lost between those two after an incident in the second test. And the penalty has been changed. Well, that is a critical blow for the Lions. We saw David Sol give away a penalty by use of the elbow in the first test, and that really turned them on their heels. Well, what's happened there is, again, a controlled aggression by the, by, by the Australian team. But again, the Lions taking the cheap shot, getting penalised. You can see here the scrum's gone down, penalty is gone to the Lions. But as, as we come through here, scuffling and a headbutt in there by Jones. Nick Farr Jones throwing the ball away, and that's what upset Robert Jones. Farr Jones clears. Michael Liner and Yean Evans, the man from Clenethley. And that one landing just inside the line. Definitely in that one, Nick Farr Jones motioning upfield, but it was a cheap shot, Nick. Good try, this one dropping in touch. I'll be doubtful if the, uh, if it proves me wrong. Very close, on the line, don't forget, he's out. Yes, I think that's what Nick Farr Jones was complaining to the touch judge about. Hairline decision. Strong drive from David Sowell. Great commitment from both forward packs. This is where Australia struggled last week. The ensuing ruck or maul from the push down from the line out. They're showing now they're not going to take a backward step and that is a good sign. Referee ruling the ball was lost forward by the Lions. The Lions forwards have incredible explosion with the ball from that tap down the line out. They really explode onto it. And they get that couple of metres sharp, gives them the momentum. Straight in scrum is ruled the 90. Richards comes away. That's a tight head. Psychological blow there for the Lions pack, and they're very hungry. Jones sniping himself. 15 metres out. This is Ackford. Richards there. So too is Calder. Australia under heavy pressure here. Rob Andrew. Australia short on numbers. Evans. And the referee has awarded the penalty right in front of the goalposts. Rob Andrew down on his back. Australia caught offside. We talked last week about the corridor of darkness outside Far Jones and inside Lord Wa Lloyd Walker. It was Jones there, the uh, Englishman, that exploited that area, and it was a good forward pack which followed up to force the error. It's that power being pushed through the middle of the Australian pack, causing the back rowers and loose forwards to be able to come around the edges and watching. In that case, Scott Goulet getting caught on the side there, trying to put that pressure onto Jones, but offside. The Lions scrum in the second test showed signs of splitting Australia without doing it. But they gained a tight head, a crucial one, and Hastings has added the three-pointer. 
So it's the British Lions first on the scoreboard. Nine minutes of play gone first half. Well, Lions playing the game plan. Get the tight five to get over that advantage line and then use this, this very, very aggressive and powerful back row. We saw T and Richards there really pushing the play upfield. So the Australian scrum really needing to get it together in that tight five. Liner with the restarts. The Lions by three points to nil. Jones to Andrew. 35 metres out from the Lions goal line. Short five man line out. This is where Australia got into trouble last week. Pushing down and losing the ball afterwards. Jones was caught by Campbell, but Richard's there to save the day. Dooley and Ackford ruck it back. And the referee spotting a knock forward there by the Lions, but a very good hit there by Big Bill Campbell on the halfback Jones. Lions feed. Hill and David Young on this side. Jones kicking back there for Martin. And that's not a bad reply under pressure. The Australians are all on side because Andrew mishandled. And he doesn't find touch. This is Tyneman and Campisi. Campisi's going to use his right foot. Hastings back there. Here comes Williams. Hastings counters. Big strong man. Try scorer at Ballymore. Jones to Andrew. Campisi racing back for it, in good position this time. Yayan Evans through with Guscott. And a long raking kick by Campisi. Andrew, only five metres out. Hastings with the angle. And the kick finding touch just 12 metres from halfway. Well, your kicks are only as good as your chases there. And I think Australia has to give more pressure up on, the, on those particular kicks. Not enough players up there, Lions trying to pass the ball in to get a greater angle at the touchline. Once the ball's passed, those players can play on. Lions winning the early rucks and walls by 3-1. to one. Penalties 3-2 Australia. Lineouts 2-1 Australia. Goulet at the back, Campbell. Crowley mishandled. Guscott. And the Lions losing ahead. There is that early nervousness there. You can see three on, on three occasions, the uh, Australian tight forwards in sweeping have grabbing at the ball and mishandling. And it's uh, costing them dearly. They're playing too shallow, Chris. They're not coming in depth. Playing across the field, trying to tuck the ball in rather than bursting onto it. Again, the scrum collapses. And the referee penalising the Australian front row. Mark Harthill. Interesting decision that from the referee from the far side of a scrum to indicate whether there's pulling down. Often they use the uh, the touch judge on this side of the field who simply uh, intimates by an elbow lifted as to whether uh, as to which side was at fault. Lions controlling the pace of the game right now. Australia getting not being able to get enough power up front and doing a lot of watching rather than trying to change the pace of it. very hungry that's Teague caught by Lawton Andrew cut out now to Hastings that's Scott to his brother Gavin Underwood follows Williams and Underwood and Campisi back there and Campisi losing the ball ahead right on the Australian goal line Goody here the ball's gone wide the backs here, the Lions wanting to spin it wide. Hastings hits the line, but watch Martin come up and take him out. Superb play by the Australian fullback. Big test here for the Australian scrum. The Lions call for the second shove. Jones and the referee this time says that David Young at fault. The tight head. Back you go. Releasing the pressure. That's what he's saying. Pulling down, it's rather easy. I don't think Mr. LK just appreciates just how difficult it is. And there's no reason for David Young in that situation to take that scrum to ground at all. They'd already won the ball. 
Well, what a kick by Lina. The Lions taking the line out quickly as they're entitled to. Mark Harthill not gathering. And quick thinking there by Hastings. Again, Australia needing to chase the kicks. Just not putting enough pressure on. They just cannot go at any part of the game and relieve the pressure. The slightest loss of pressure, the Lions are back into it, controlling the pace of the game. 14 minutes gone, first half. The Lions through a penalty goal by Gavin Hastings, ahead by 3 to nil. Now it's Liner to Walker. Williams is in. Ian Williams. Great tackle there by Guscott. Well, there was a knock on a couple of ways. Referees playing advantage though for the Lions. Jones threw on Campisi. And he got the mark under heavy pressure. Mistake free rugby for the Lions. The ball is going to hand every time and they're continuing to mount this barrage of pressure. Campisi not finding his touch. Gavin Hastings back over halfway. Goulet in front. That kick's gone a bit too deep. Liner with a bit of time here. Off the side of his boot. Jones. And again, not too many Australian chases. This is Rob Andrew. Pass was okay. Scott Hastings. Down the field he goes. Big kick. And the bounce is good too. Well, Australia are playing on quickly. Again, the ball swung across the field. This is Andrew. Nick Far jones there. Lions players are all onside once it's mishandled. And again, some ironic applause from the crowd because finally we've found touch. What a crackerjack pace this game is. There's some very, very tired Australian and also Lions forwards out there. But not only are the Lions creating pressure for Australia, Australia, by not getting their kicks out on the full, are pulling pressure down on top of themselves as well. And that kick by Nick Farr-Jones would be uh, much appreciated. Cutler. And the referee there penalising Australia. Dan Crowley is pointing out for coming across the line. Just watch Crowley at three in that crouch position. Certainly not coming across the line. The ball is in the air. He's on the other side now. Was definitely not at fault at any stage there if he is the man pointed out. So Martin now. The Lions not finding their touch. Gavin Hastings. Miller's up quickly. The Lions players are on side. And Liner cleverly now across the field. Great kick. You'll see that time the Lions backs closed up. They thought Australia were going to counter-attack by running it. They came up too flat and the Lion tucked the ball in behind him. Good thinking. Maybe this will get the, uh, the green and goals onto the front foot. They're in, uh, in strife at the moment. They're coming from all angles. They need to settle and take it on steadily. Far Jones does well to Liner and Walker. Walker straightens back to Miller. Better set up, but he's driven back in the tackle. Far Jones, and he knocked the ball on. Again, the pressure coming back onto Far Jones. The pack not getting over the top of the ball, cleaning out the Lions, making sure that the Lions' backs are going backwards at the time when they attack. The second phase needs more thrust. This is Hastings on his left boot. And a very solid looking punt kick taking play to within two metres of the halfway line. So the penalty goal to Gavin Hastings coming after only nine minutes, the only score in the game. Perfect chance to look at this line out. Who comes across the line? Lions or Australia? Well, Gavin Hastings, uh, Paul Ackford came straight across, but this is Calder, taken low by Goulet. Teague. Met solidly. The Lions kick there. Williams took it well. Far Jones supports. And into touch. Well done, Ian Williams. The Lions had three backs on two Australians there, and one of them was the second rower.
the first quarter of the game definitely with the Lions pack. Ackford doing well. And another penalty here to the Lions. And the referee penalising Australia for deliberately barging across the line of touch. Well, again, he's pointing out Dan Crowley, and something will have to be done by Dan Crowley. He, be he packs in that crouched over style, and as in the first test, the referee disliked the way that he came across the line. He must stand up, face the play, and not go across the line if that's to continue to be a problem. So, understandably, where he looks in the Australian camp, and an area that Australia has been found wanting according to the referee but certainly it's occurring on both sides no doubt about that Hastings now with a chance to see the Lions slip six points clear just inside Two penalty goals to the Scott Gavin Hastings. That one coming after 21 minutes of the first half. Australia at this stage is, is looking for its counter-attacking ability to try and take this game up. It must get right back to basics. If you haven't got the ball, you can't score tries. So it's important that Australia gets, becomes more aggressive, especially in that line-out area. Crowley going, trying to get the ball in there, trying to block well. He must look like he's going for the ball territory with the Lions in the first quarter 60 percent and Roger Rutley and Ian McGeekin certainly pleased with this start by their team Jones weaves through caught by Cutler but look at those lines forwards as one Critical thing from this is that ball for Australia was on the line side of the advantage line, but because of their commitment to the forwards, they're able to just drive it that extra couple of feet, which gives them the put into this scrum. Jones kicking deep for Martin. And his kick looks as though it's out on the full. So Jones's tactics, kicking high for the touchline but keeping the ball just inside proving successful line outs five apiece what should be noted here is how number one and number three for the Lions get in there and block stopping Australia from getting through Sol straight through the middle of the line out caught by Far Jones great charge from the prop Australia regroup the Lions go ahead Gus got Kick charge down, play on. Australia come away now through Walker and Far Jones. And this is Martin, the fullback, looking for support. Lions player playing the ball on the ground. Referee right on the spot. This is part of the tackle. And you can't play at the ball on the ground until you've regained your feet. Teague that time was involved in the tackle. Good work by... Good work by Lloyd Walker. Brought the ball to the far side where the opening was. But here's Teague arriving on the scene, part of the tackle. He must regain his feet before he plays at that ball. Doesn't, and the referee's on the spot. So the penalties shared after 23 minutes of play, first half. But the Lions threw two penalty goals by Hastings, ahead 6-0. Ackford out jumping, Bill Campbell. Gay and Evans again coming through. Martin. And a knock on both ways. First one by Australia. Good tactic this by the Lions. Keeping the ball down the lines and totally under control in front of their forward pack. They don't want to stretch it right until they get the perfect ball. Again, James comes short. This is Richards. Teague is there, pulling the ball in. And the ball's still in play. 
Cut out pass now for Scott Hastings. Gets away from Leiter, but he's met by a solid wall of gold jerseys. Richards cleared. And the referee spotting a forward pass. Well, again, we see that Scott Haking, uh, Hastings jinking in the back line. Obviously, the plan is to come back and link with the forwards. Young penalised again. He must well, He's gone across onto the loose head side. Far Jones plays on quickly. The Lions were all inside the 10. And the referee gives another penalty to Australia. This one on halfway. Clever play there by the Australian captain. Once uh, you're inside that 10, you have to retire. And if you play the man, if he takes a quick tap, you're immediately in an offside situation. Line is going to have a shot for goal. This will be a prodigious kick if successful because he's allowing for the angle about 53 metres out. Nick Far jones looks as though he's lost his contact lenses. Both he and Ian Williams play in contact lenses. And uh, he seems happier with the situation. Well, Williams would be in trouble if he lost his, he's, because he's as blind as a bat. Liner's got the distance, and he's got the accuracy too. Majestic kick from Liner, sorely needed by this Australian team. And maybe that's the lift that this Australian team needed and are looking for because they're not really making positive steps at the moment they haven't seized this game by any stretch of the imagination now's their chance but they're receiving from the kickoff and i'm sure the lions will kick short again they've been able to regain possession in this area almost at will on tour let's see how they do it this time Ackford coming through with richards well won by cutler Liner in trouble, and stepped out of it nicely. Very composed play there from the Australian 5'8". Has called the steam through on him. Good work by Australia to get out of this, but called to put great pressure on Liner and nearly nailed him. Norwich ball! Norwich ball! Norwich ball, the call. Miller through. Good tackle on Sol. Jones hoists. Underwood through on Martin. And the mark is paid. Again, bravery under fire from Big Greg Martin. We can see here, you can see these Lions forwards still running onto the ball. Superb play by Jones to put pressure on Martin. So far in this game, the Lions forwards have not had to go back once. They've really got this momentum rolling forward. It's been from intelligent play from Jones. And then when the ball is, comes a bit free, the Lions have been willing to run the ball. Finley Calder and Jeff Miller at the back. Tyneman and Richards opposed. And Goulet and Michael Teague. Well taken there by Calder. Richards again in support. Andrew, half volley, kicking for the far touch, Martin on his chest, Jones, and this is Gavin Hastings, the Australians are onside, Hastings gets away, clever overhead pass, Andrew now, and very good organisation at the back from the British Lions. Great work Rob Andrew, put in the initial kick on the far side. We drop back centre field to uh, retrieve the situation. A useful footballer. Australia having problems in there with the with the tight forwards of the Lions getting through interfering, so they're going to have to go to these shorter lineouts. Teague over the back, steaming ahead by 10 metres. Jones and Far Jones, good tackle, overlap, Underwood and Williams. Ball lost backwards, says the referee. Hastings. And now it's 
that's lost ahead by Scott Hastings. Well, Hastings definitely too hasty that time in unloading the ball. There was two on one. The pass went too early and it allowed the Australians to cover. Watch it out here. Hastings shifted that on too quickly. If he'd have drawn the tackle from Williams, there was wide open spaces. Three points in it, and we're 11 minutes before half time. The scrum wheels round past the 90 degrees. Scott Goulet, number six, on this side for Australia. Well, the front rows have been going to ground virtually in every second scrum. Referee has penalised at least four times in that area already. Penalty 7-5. Paddle away to Andrew. Field goal attempts. It must be close. Just sailing away on the right-hand side. This is Campisi. He's going to take on Evans. Campisi into space here. Steps beautifully. Taking play outside the 22. Liner now has it for Australia. The forwards arrive. Can they slip it back? Far Jones. Raking the ball over his shoulder. But Hastings again in perfect position. Here's Campisi again. The line's a bit slow to follow this one. And a long spiral torpedo punt kick. Three metres from the halfway line. Well, David Campisi, you really don't know what he's going to do. It's a bit of a problem when you're playing the same team with him, but, but uh, the crowd certainly came to a stand, stand there when he got hold of the ball. But quite correctly, he, uh, when the ball did come back to him, when he didn't have the support there, he found touch. The Lions enjoying a near 2-1 ratio now in the lineouts. Nine minutes before half time. Three points the difference on the scoreboard. Jones in trouble. Near the 10 metre line. But there was a knock forward there. And Australia's scrum team. Better scrum for Australia. Liner now to Walker. Here's Williams, almost through. Tyneman supports. Desperate tackling from the Lions. Here it comes again. There's a chance here for Australia. Martin's in. Pass was not a good one to Campisi. It was forward. Greg Martin holds his head. He realises Australia must take their opportunities. All the preparation was done by the forwards as they drove over. The ball came wide, but Australia too shallow. Too, way too shallow. Martin looks to pass to Campisi, but he should have been in a position to burst onto it. This is Hastings. Almost charged down by Liner. It's a very good kick to the centre of the field. Little knock on there by Rob Andrew as it was tapped down by Jeremy Guscott. Well, quite interesting here. The ball went to Hastings and to the sideline and a big Gary Owen up into the middle of the field. The Lions starting to play with arrogance, being able to try to move the ball out wide, where they're starting to get to second phase a bit faster than Australia. Here's Far Jones and Williams. Now it's Campisi into trouble. Australia in bother here. Underwood slips it back. The ball was loose. Ackford now, supported by Dooley. This is T to Jones. Andrew, Hastings. Gus got there. Gus got almost through. Great tackle. The Australians slow to that breakdown. This is David Sol, very mobile player. Here they go again. And Rob Andrew just pumping the touchline. Very good build up there by the Lions. Well, they're picking the ball to plunge on the Lions. Working the ball upfield by the kick. Really putting pressure on. And then picking the one that they're going to use. Gus got straightened and he was very nearly through. The desperate tackle by... Uh, Dominic Maguire just pulled him to ground but a little bit rattled and a little bit tired the Australian forwards arriving late well they say the touring side is always fitter and the Lions are full of running at the moment Sol straight through the centre of the line out tries to stay on his feet ball laid back well and Australia clearly offside players fringing coming round offside and this will be a penalty shot for Hastings only five metres in. 
Well, what an amazing part of play there. You saw the ball was deflected twice in that line-out, but the Lions were able to get out into depth and drive through the middle, get over that advantage line, thus giving the momentum behind it. As they were going for the try line there, Australia, all they had to do was try and hold on and hold on, and they did. And got the, gave the penalty away. David Young now in the foreground, in the hands of the trainer, just holding his back. Not surprised he's got a sore back after all those scrum collapses. And that's Paul Ackford. So five and a half minutes remaining before half time. If Hastings is successful, a six point lead for the Lions. And that would certainly be a measure of their superiority in the first half. Gavin Hastings, it's a big, lovely kick, straight through the centre. Big is beautiful for Gavin. He broke the world record when he scored 27 points against Romania in the World Cup. And he is a prolific scorer, right on target here today with three straight penalties. Australia has always been behind in this game, coming towards half-time. Hastings on his left foot. And he's really been at the peak of his powers this afternoon. And there's Mike Griffiths, the bridge end builder, former junior soccer player in Wales. So David Young with the sore back. Billy Campbell doing well for Australia. Far Jones now to line up. Gary Owen. One of the few points of pressure Australia's been able to apply. Maguire is there. Great take by Hastings. Australia drive it in. But the Lions forwards have regrouped splendidly. Now they're going to work it to Andrew. And he's touched just outside the 22. Sign of class, that one. The high ball perfectly placed. Under pressure in uh, centre field. But the Lions forwards regrouping and the drive being put on. Even if the ball hadn't have been won, they would have got the put into the uh, ensuing scrum. That's big stuff. Get ready. Campbell at the back. Defar Jones. Now it's Crowley. Taken low by Sol. Crowley does well. Far Jones. Numbers here for Australia. Martin and Campisi. Play on, says the referee. Almost a try. Who can fall on it? No one. Well, desperation there for the Lions. That was the one Australia was looking for, and they'll have the scrum feed. The Hail Mary pass of David Campisi going astray. Big scrum from the Lions. They've shunted Australia back off the ball. Second tight head. And Far Jones is caught offside. Well, right, that's a turning point in the game. It wouldn't be surprising. What great control the Lions have got. They've been under pressure for the last two or three minutes. Under a first under a high ball, they regrouped into a scrum that was probably had to be the most important scrum of the match for Australia and came back and really shoved Australia backwards. Yes, the alarm bells are ringing for the Australian side. The Lions also shunted Australia back in an attacking position in the second test. The ball was lost ahead there by Ackford, and it's been spotted by the referee. Well, just before half-time it was at Ballymore. Australia was pushed back and the ball was spoiled. Regroup they must do, and I believe this team has that ability to regroup. This is an important scrum. Another setback here could create some problems. Just before half-time, the time to pull it out is here. Now it's Liner. Liner through! Williams outside, can he get there? He sure can! Great try! Chris Handy's a fortune teller. Australia to within two points, and that's the first try of the game. Again the magician to the four, Michael Liner. They waited back for the push wide. He saw the opportunity, Andrew held off. Centre field, they were all at sea, the Lions. 
and the speedster Ian Williams home from the UK now driving a little nail in of his own the whole objective here was to try and move the Lions defense across field and so they did but Lyons incredible step went to the gap there to swing it across to the pace of Williams was really the thing that got in behind the Lions and what a great try and sets Australia well on a good track for the second half so Ian Williams scoring his seventh test match try in only his ninth international his 30th try in, a, in an Australian jumper and what a critical one it was for the ailing Australian team the prospect now of being all square at half time with just 30 seconds remaining Michael Liner flags are up and the test match is all square seconds before the break well this was superb work by the Australian 5'8 the break and the timing of the pass was magnificent I think the dummy scissors there do uh, Maguire coming back inside really fooled the Lions and it left Liner with only one option and that's to go on his own and feed his outside support so the ground really humming here we're going to see the restart from Andrew the siren has gone for half time Australia and the Lions nine all Michael Liner from inside his 22 and now referee Rene Urke blows his whistle for the break